Want to know how to unlock the power of ChatGPT and AI in testing based on multiple real-world examples I found on this week's show? Find out in this episode of the Test Skill DevSecOps new show for the week of January 22nd. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea, and let's do this. Awesome folks of Apply Tools sponsor this episode of the Test Skill new show. Apply Tools is a next-generation test automation platform powered by visual AI, which helps you increase quality, accelerate delivery, and reduce costs for what I think is the world's most intelligent visual test automation platform. But seeing is believing, so don't miss out on trying it for yourself by creating a free account now in the comments down below before this offer ends. First up, automation news. All right, I've been hearing more and more about this next tool. I believe I mentioned it a few times in our news show already. And this next article actually goes over how to leverage this tool to help you with AI with your automation. And it's by Dimitri Harding, who's a well-known automation engineer. And also he has a new AI-based company. So he really knows both of both of the world's testing and AI. And in this post, he goes over how to use this tool, Ask UI, with Snipply to see how it can be used to streamline UI testing. Mm -hmm. So first he goes over what is Ask UI. It's a tool that allows developers to automate various actions and interactions within the user interface on operating systems. And I believe they have maybe a free version or an open source version as well. So you definitely check it out. And he goes over how easy it is to set up Ask UI, then some adjustments he made to the config file, how to create a simple test, and also how to create a more complex test. And one of the biggest takeaways is this tool does not rely on selectors like some of the other tools out there. So it makes it execute a little bit slower, but mostly because it analyzes the screen, which in turn makes this actually a little more reliable. So thank you, Dimitri, for this article. And you can check it out also yourself in the first comment down below. And if you actually want to see more examples of using AI, I have a great resource for you on how to unlock the power of chat GPT and AI in testing with a real world look. And it's going to go over what chat GPT is. You probably have heard a ton of this already. I've covered it pretty much since it's been released on my new show every week. And during this webinar, though, they're going to actually demonstrate how AI tools such as chat GPT can be applied in various stages of the software development lifecycle using an e-commerce application as a case study. They also are going to showcase some of the capabilities and limitations of the technology and also will emphasize the need for human expertise for meaningful util utilization of ChatGPT in the software development lifecycle. And so some key takeaways are going to be learning how to use ChatGPT to add AI power to your test and test automation, understand the limitations of the technology. You're going to gain insights into uh, different AI-based tools and learn how to adopt AI-based tools to stay relevant and optimize your work for both developers and testers. And leading the session is going to be Anand, who is a well-known expert in this field. So you're definitely going to get the best of the best. Anand is a straight shooter as well, so he's not going to sugarcoat anything. And he doesn't hype anything either. So you're going to get, like I said, a real world, really bird's eye view on how this is going to work and how things are probably going to get even more accelerated as the years go on. So you don't want to miss this. And I highly recommend you check this out by registering now in that first comment down below. And if you want to actually see multiple sessions on real-world examples of applying things like ChatGPT, AI, the metaverse, all types of newer technologies and older technologies as well to really accelerate your automation testing, you definitely should register for Automation Guild that's going on two weeks from today. And I don't know if I've done this yet, as I want to actually introduce really quick the full speaker lineup for Automation Guild 2023. And I have a whole LinkedIn post on it. And when you scroll down on this post, it's actually a carousel, which is kind of cool. And so you could scroll through.
five days of awesomeness. So I'm really excited by all these awesome speakers and you can join us as well. So definitely head on over to automationguild.com and register now and hope to see you there. So I try to avoid sad news on this show. Uh, as you know, there's a lot of layoffs going on in the industry for some of the biggest companies out there like Google has had layoffs, Meta has had layoffs, a whole bunch of uh, big tech companies are having layoffs at this time. And it's also affecting the testing community, not just uh, for testers that are working for these companies, but also companies that specialize in tools for testers. And one of them, unfortunately, is Cypress. So, and so unfortunately, Cypress announced that being really transparent about it, how they had a reduced headcount as well. And it was a difficult decision, but I like how they mentioned that, you know, to support a lot of these talented folks that they have, they really encourage you to hire them, check them out. And what's really cool is they're actually going to share a list of, of some contact information. So for companies that are hiring, especially for automation engineers that know Cypress, this is probably a good chance for you to grab some really good talent that was been locked up but probably by Cypress. So, so just a good opportunity to take a, what's a unfortunate situation and make it a positive situation by hiring some awesome resources that are going to soon be available to help you and your team succeed with your automation as well. And I also just noticed that Selenium just released version 4.80 for all the language bindings. This comes your way via LinkedIn from Shri. And I just recommend you head on over to Selenium Downloads, find your language binding, and then click on the change log. Obviously, Java is probably one of the more popular ones. And then you can see what's included in each of the language bindings for this version 4.80. So too many changes to go over for all the language bindings, but you can check it out for yourself by heading over to selenium forward slash downloads. And I'll also have a link for that also in the comments down below. So we talked a little bit about Selenium. We talked a little bit about Cypress, but how about Playwright? Well, I just found this resource as well. And it is by Butch who goes over how he just released his first NPM package, which is a custom reporter for Playwright. So this is called the Playwright JSON Summary Reporter. And this package can be installed to generate a simple summary.json file that could be used as a part of a Playwright test automation framework. And one of the main use cases for Butch building this is to have a quick access to a list of failed or succeeded tests for rerunning failures outside of Playwright's retry functionality. He also uses it to quickly identify if all tests pass within a GitHub action. Another great resource. Thank you, Butch, for this. And try it out and let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Next up, performance and site reliability news. So a lot of the information coming out on ChatGPT has been around functional automation, but how about how do it can apply to performance testing? I cover this in January on my new show and gave some examples, but, but Naveen Kumar actually does a deeper dive in his latest blog post. And he said he asked ChatGPT the most burning questions for performance engineers and recorded its responses. So the blog article goes over questions. It explains performance testing to a six-year-old kid, how to write a performance test plan for an application, comparing tool features, analyzes the performance test results, writes code for performance testing, lists the risk involved in performance testing, builds a reporting testing tool, and a bunch more. So another great resource, especially if you're a performance engineer, to see how ChatGPT applies to you as well. Next up, security news. All right, this next article caught my eye because usually this company is usually associated with the uh, APM type solutions, performance. And so I thought it was really interesting how they seem to be branching out into security as well. And this is how New Relic just announced general availability of a new vulnerability management feature. And so this actually provides customers with security monitoring, which helps engineering teams identify and triage vulnerabilities across the tech stack all in one place. And it's now available as of January. And this also includes new interactive application security testing capabilities added to New Relic with the acquisition of K2 cybersecurity. And the article also highlights how most dev teams typically work separately from security operations using different assessment tools. And so I think it's a great development how a tool is embracing security as well for the whole team approach that we should be seeing everywhere as testers. All right, for links of everything of value we covered in this news episode, head on over to links in the first comment down below. And while you're there, make sure to check out our sponsor, Apply Tools free account offer and discover how to take your automation testing to the next level, leveraging visual AI. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe, and my mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end -end full stack pipeline automation 
awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.